Hello, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you? Hi. Hello, Adriana. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Very good. Excellent. Hello, Nubia. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good very evening. Nice. Very good. Excellent. I'm very happy to hear that. How was your day? Very well. What did you do today? I work today. Ah, okay, me too. Excellent, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, it looks like it's going to be a rainy evening. I don't know if it's raining where you live. It's raining over here. Is it raining where you live? Está lloviendo donde ustedes viven? No. It's not raining? No. Okay. Here it is about to start raining a lot. The sky is very dark. Here uh, a little rain. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Raul. Good evening. How are you today? Um, I am fine. Uh, it was uh, raining here, but oh, really? it stopped. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, right here where I live, it's about to start raining. Oh, okay. You can smell it. You can feel it. The sky is dark. There is a lot of lightning. It does not look too good. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go ahead and get started, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that everybody had a very good day. Um, I would like for us to do a little review referring to the information that we were learning in yesterday's class. I would like for you to tell me what vocabulary do you remember? What expressions do you remember? Uh, what uh, activities do you remember? Can somebody tell me what you remember about yesterday's class? So I remember. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Adverbs uh, frequency. That is correct. Adverbs of frequency. Uh, who can tell me what is the objective of the adverbs of frequency? What is the purpose of the adverbs of frequency? In what situation? do you use the adverbs of frequency? So I can use uh, these uh, adverbs of fr frequency for a, a daily routines, for example. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, can you give me a, a sentence using the adverbs of frequency? Uh, I usually uh, practice English uh, every morning. Very good. That's it. Okay, yes, good example. I usually practice English every morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, did everybody have access to the platform? Yes. Okay. Now... Yes. Excellent. Now, for today's class, we are going to go ahead and move forward on the platform. Yesterday, we were looking at these activities over here on section one. We looked at a short video and we practice a conversation. Do you remember the pr conversation that you practice? Yes, remember. Okay, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. 
let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers, please. Me, teacher. Okay, Nubia, excellent. So, Nubia, uh, you are going to, we are going to practice this conversation. Are you ready, Nubia? Yes, ready. Okay, so Nubia, you are going to be Maria, and uh, I am going to be Paul. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and look at this uh, short video, and I would like for you to, we're going to start here. You're really fit, Paul. Go ahead. Mm, you really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well... I almost always get up early and lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? Like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly... hardly? Mm -hmm. Ever ex exercise, I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess um, I'm a real coach potato. 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 Very good. Potato. All right. Good job, Nubia. Excellent. Thank Th you. Thank you, Nubia, for your participation. Now we're going to change roles. Nubia, you are Paul and I am Maria. You're okay. really fit. Paul, do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and lift weights for an hour. 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 La, le, la, hour. H, la H no la pronunciamos. Hour. I lift weights, oh. weights for an hour. Seriously? Uh, sure. And then I often go in line shaking. Skating. 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 Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five? Mm -hmm. okay. Twice. Twice. Uh huh. About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in the, my free time, and I guess I'm a real couch potato. All right, very good, Nubia. Applause, Thank everybody, you. for Nubia. Thank you. Good job. Uh, at this moment, does anybody have any questions referring to this activity? No. Questions no, about the vocabulary or the expressions? Uh, me, teacher, uh, what is the meaning of couch potato? Couch potato. Uh, somebody that is a couch potato is a person that um, doesn't, is not an active person, right? A person that in their job, they are only sitting down on the computer and then they go home, sit down in front of the TV, um, only plays video games, uh, doesn't do any type of physical activity. Uh, it's a like, it's a like uh, lazy. Mm, yeah, somebody that's lazy, only eating eating chips, uh, chocolates, watching TV, playing video games, right? It's not somebody that uh, is active, physically okay. active. Yeah, that's a couch okay. potato. Okay, okay, thank you. Thanks. Any, and yes, does anybody else have uh, another question referring to this vocabulary? Me teacher, yeah. what is the meaning of almost always? Almost always, uh, that is uh, referring to, like, for example, 
if I say, uh, like, let's say that I have here a time zone, right? So here uh, at the end is never, never, right? For example, you say, I never eat um, liver. I don't like liver, right? So I never eat liver. Ugh. Now here is the opposite. The opposite is always, always, right? So I say to you, I always, eat tortilla, right? So if I say to you, um, I almost, I almost 